Welcome to my tutorial. Today, I will be showing you how to make an impressive title shard. You know, the pretty little fires and sparkles and all that stuff. Okay, before we do anything though, I urge you to look below at the description and download anything that you may or may not have because you're going to need it. Okay, so just go ahead, pause the video. I will wait, I promise. And when you get back with the programs, we will continue. And welcome back. Now, assuming that you actually listened and obtained those programs, we are now going to continue with this tutorial. The first thing that we're going to do is open the extracted folder of the particle editor that I have provided. Now, as you can see, there is no obvious exe or application to run the program with. And so, what we're going to do is we're going to go to bin, release, and then down here to this, to this option right here called particle editor, it's an application, the little golden circle, whatever you may see on your screen. Okay, we're going to right click, run as administrator, which is just a habit of mine. Of course, you can double click and it'll open, but that's just my way. Okay, now you can set your preferences up to whatever you'd like. My stuff is already on what I like because I've opened this program previously. So we're going to continue and you should come up with something like this okay now don't freak out those big words they will not hurt you see emitter emission rate cut weight no color is not a big velocity okay don't worry they won't bite see each for each category if you don't understand what they mean they pop up with little explanations on what they do and what their effect is on the particle so no matter what it is or no matter what tab it's under it will sh it will tell you what it does well yeah even the colors if the colors explain to you what colors are in case you don't know what colors are okay now the first thing that I'm gonna do is unload this particle because personally I don't like it so I'm going to unload this one unload the default and I'll do... which one do I want? I'll just do this one. I'm not going to make a particle because hand making a particle from scratch takes a very long time and I don't want to right now. Okay. Now I have this eruption particle. Alright now. Okay now if you want to start messing with like the emitters or the colors or any of that stuff you know feel free pause the video and make your shard and come back when you are ready okay now continuing on now normally I wouldn't be using this method but because I'm loading a current um, shard I'm going to explain how I'm going to do it okay so we're going to new template we were on the screen. We're going to new template. We're going to call this tutorial. And I'm going to use this, but normally you would use this, use default. But because I'm using an already existing particle, I'm going to create this based on this particle. Okay. Assuming you have your particle made, your shard ready to go. Okay. I'm going to name this tutorial and dot particle now you have to have this as dot particle without this it will not load properly okay now if you're ready to go just save now as it says here particle script modification cannot be undone so if you're ready to save save it because you can't go back and change it successfully changed Reve saved okay Okay, now comes the more complicated part of shard making, the coding. Okay, now we're going to exit out of your particle making um, program. Okay, I'm just going to exit out of it completely. If you want to minimize, that's fine, but I'm going to just exit out of it completely. Okay, now the first thing we want to do is go back to the main setup 
of the particle folder that you have. Now this time, instead, we're going to go into data, particle scripts, right here. Okay, now your particle, whatever file you named it under, will be in this list. If you saved it properly, it will be in this folder. Alright, now what you want to do is copy your particle file, just that one particle file, and paste it to your desktop for safekeeping. You'll see why later. Okay, now we're going to go back into the textures folder. And you're going to select whichever um, material that you use for your particle. If you don't know, then you can go ahead and open um, the particle folder and then check which material folder you use. So, PE ring flare, ring flare. Easy as pie. Okay, we're going to copy this and save this to the desktop too for safekeeping. Alright, and we're going to exit out of this completely because we no longer have any use to have it open. Okay, now we're going to go into whatever impressive title server folder that you may have. If you need one, I will happily provide one to those who ask. I'm not going to provide a public link, but if you do want one, then I will, be ha I will happily share my test server. Okay, I'm just going to open my server real quick. Okay. And now we're going to go into media, the media folder and then particle. Now, you see all these? Okay. Okay, now what you're going to do, well, first things first. I'm going to go over here to your texture and we're going to rename it to whatever you want to. I generally use the same name for like everything because it just makes it a lot easier to go through this process. Okay, so we're gonna take this and drop it straight into the particle folder. There we go. And now that we have our texture file in the right place, we're going to open a current or already existing particle file. So I'm just gonna open this one. And then I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to delete everything currently standing in there. Everything is gone, okay? Except particle system. Do not delete particle system. So particle system, space. Okay. And then we're going to put this to the side and open our shard that we just made, the particle folder to what we just made. Okay. We're going to put the cursor right before the title name of the shard and so we're going to take this and copy all of it copy and then right after this we're going to paste all right now we can put this away and now and now we're going to go down here to the material or whatever you plan on using as your material file name just put this here so mine the same is the same for everything which makes it a lot easier. So this will be tutorial. You're going to save as whatever you want this shard name to be. So and don't forget to put dot particle. Dot particle is important. It is a file extension that you will need. Alright. Go down here. And we now have two of our three particle folder necessities. Okay, and now we're going to make the material folder or the material file for that shard. So we're going to open an existing material file, change the name to what you want it to be. For me, it's tutorial. And then down here, change this texture to what you would like it to be. Then again, we're going to save as tutorial.material because file extensions are very important. You, you have to keep an eye on these file extensions. Otherwise, it will save in a dot text, and that's no fun. 
that that's virtually useless. Okay, and now we have our three, um, our three pretty little files all lined up. Oh, all lined up. Okay, now we're gonna go back into the models folder, and we're gonna go down to find red shard. The red shard mesh. Where are you? There you are. Okay, we're going to copy and then paste directly back into this folder. I'm going to rename this tutorial, so I use the same name for everything. And now see what we just did was we associated a mesh file with a particle file, which is good. It's a good thing. So you're not gonna crash now. Okay, we're gonna go back into the main folder now to find our items CFG. Now opening our items file, we're going to go down here to the bottom of our items list. Now from memory, I don't recall exactly what each of these are. I know that this is mesh, so this is the mesh name. And then following will be the material name, which is the same name over. And then the skeleton, the armature that you want to assign the particle to, or the mesh to. I'm just going to put main because I know it works. And then you're going to put, again, the particle system name, which is the same name as before. And then I believe these following zeros are the floor animations. And yes, that that's, just make sure you have something similar to this. Okay, and then we're going to save it. And then open your impressive title server, whatever server you have, you have. Again, if you need a test server or something to test your stuff on, I am more than happy to provide you with a server, my personal server at that. So, just send me an email or Skype or Whatever you're really comfortable in communicating with me with, just drop a comment and asking for the information and I will happily give it. As long as it isn't something personal like Facebook or anything like that, then that's perfectly fine. As you can see, the uh, tutorial shard worked. Um, if you want to see it drop to make sure that it doesn't crash or for me to prove that it doesn't crash, then I will show you real quick. Okay, we're gonna go in here to spawn the item. And there we go. Then we're going to equip it. And yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions, suggestions on how to better my shard making skills, if you have any criticisms on how I make my shard making skills, then feel free to comment. I will read and respond to those that I feel need responded to, and that's about it. Expect more tutorials from me, because I like making tutorials. If you have any requests on what tutorial you want me to make, then I will happily appreciate that as well. Well, have an awesome day.